You guys do realize holding a high standard fixes everything, right? We are currently living in a time where women are sucking up as much attention as possible from men to the point they will lie to men as if they're going to get together, they're going to hang out, they're going to see each other, blah, 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 all to soak up as much attention as possible. Now, there are guys who are just giving it out. But here's the thing. There's literally women out there, bro, who know that if they don't hang out with you and see you, you will not talk to them. Them knowing this is why they lie about getting together and hanging out. They might want to eventually, six months to a year later, so they can work up the courage to finally do it So because they're insecure. But this is a bad deal for you, bro. Bad. Bad deal. Like, women need to understand that them soaking up as much attention as possible from men is just as bad as men using women for S3X. It seems like it's a battle in society today where men don't want to waste time giving their attention away to women. And women don't want to waste their time getting railed by men and then thrown to the side. It's like a battle. Women want attention, men want S3X. Well, back in the day, <clears throat> men used to give their attention to women in exchange for that. It was called a relationship. It was called marriage. It was called them being together and monogamous. And this is exactly why so many people today are choosing to go solo because no one wants to lose the game. It's a game. And this is why there's so many people solo. And this is why you have to hold a very high standard. Like, my standards are high, but they're realistic. I know what type of woman I want. And yes, she got to have a certain look about herself. I have a type, looks wise. That got to be there. And then she got to be a specific way with her actual traits, internal traits. She don't going to be perfect. She just can't be crazy. Like that's, that's the thing. These standards that I have are not unrealistic at all. It exists. It is out there. But you're going to have to hold a high standard which this is even considered a high standard today, and it really shouldn't be. It is basic for, for a guy like myself. It's what I should have. But the world is nuts, bro. Nuts. <laughs> so today we find ourselves in this battle, the battle of sexes. Of so many women robbing as many men as they can and men robbing as many women as they can. And it does good for nobody at all. And this is why it would fix everything if everybody held a higher standard instead of just going after what they want just so they can get what they want, but they're not going to keep it. They're not going to keep it. There's certain girls you deal with, bro. You're not going to keep her. You just deal with her. You're not going to keep her. You already know you're, you're not going to be with her long term. Mm -hmm. And so many women talk to guys. You know you're not going to be with him. Like, you know this. So why? Because you like the attention he's giving you. And you feed him false hope. You're no better than a man. You're no better than a man leading a woman on, getting what he wants from her, and then want nothing to do with her. You're no better. It's equally as bad. 
One is a physical thing, the other is mental, and it's lies, and it's manipulation, and it's gaslighting. This is a battle we're in today, folks. And this is why you so, see so many videos and short clips from women. I'm done dating and all this. Same thing with men. I'm done with this. I'm checking out, blah, blah, blah. But if everyone just held a higher standard and stopped messing around so much, but it seems like people just can't stop messing around. Y'all just got to go crazy to get what you want right now. Like that, That's the problem. None of you can just put in the work, be patient, wait, wait your damn turn. Because if everyone in the world done this, bro, all the right people would be together. But all the right people ain't together. <laughs> There's girls right now I deserve to be with. Right now. Same thing with yourself. And there's guys out there right now that girls deserve to be with. There's a girl that deserves me right now. There's a girl that I deserve her right now. We deserve each other is what I'm saying here. But yet, at this current moment, not that it can't even happen next week or next month or next year, but we're not together right now. Why is that? Someone's messing up. Somebody's not being patient. Somebody's getting a little bit greedy. Because they want what they want and they want it now, but you don't get, you, you, you never get the prize when you, when you operate that way. Give it up. Give up what you want right now for what you want more later on. More people need to do this. More people need to hold themselves to a higher standard is what it actually is. And of course, your standards of someone else has to be high as well. Both have to be high. This is what will fix the world. You fix yourself. You get your mind right. Go and go on a date with that guy. Stop being, stop being like, what's the, word, what's the word I want to use for this? Stop being overly paranoid. How many men are actually a serial killer? Let's be real. You, you hear that excuse all the time. Well, I got to find out if he's a serial killer. How many guys do you think is a serial killer? God, we got mutual friends online. <laughs> yes, you got to find out if he's bad or not. But like, it, how long does that take? FaceTime. Talk to him on the phone. <laughs> no, like ask questions about him to other people. Like, it's not hard to get to know somebody. It's really not. But yet, there's so much stalling, and all this stalling is a bunch of BS. It's cope because she is dealing with a masculine man that she's low-key scared of, low-key running away from, even though it's what's best for her. And there's probably certain things she don't want to give up, so everything's just messed up, bro. And this is why we got so many people going solo. While the people that are going solo should be with somebody. And that somebody should be with them, vice versa. Like it's the way it should be, but this world is nuts. Absolutely sickening nuts. These are nuts. Society has done a number, man. Like it starts with someone getting done dirty. It starts with someone getting done wrong. That person is gonna do somebody else wrong. They feel they got robbed. If a guy gets robbed of a bunch of attention, he's gonna to start to go after a bunch of girls because he wants, what does he want? We already know what he wants. He wants S3X. Because he should have got it from the girls he was given so much time and attention and effort to. And guess what? When females invest in a guy and they hang out and she lets these guys hit and he wants nothing to do with her, she feels robbed. She wanted that man long term. She don't got him no more. He got what he wanted and he dipped. Guess what she's going to do? She's going to she's going to torture the next men. Probably 10 to 50 of them. She's going to take so much attention, 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 attention and she's never going to give up box. Because that was her experience, right? That was her experience. She ain't never giving up box again. She's just going to extract so much attention, so much attention, so much attention. 
And this is a problem with the world. You have to be more careful with the individuals you deal with. Otherwise, you're going to get robbed. And when you get robbed, most people, bro, when they get robbed, are going to start to go after other people to get what they want because they got robbed. I, I, I feel like I missed out. I, I need to get what I deserve. And that's when all hell breaks loose. This is what created society, bro. This is, this is literally what's going on. Like... No one can just stick it. Like, this is on... It comes down to people being undisciplined. You cannot take a step back to be your best self. So when the right person comes along, you're ready. Because guess what? If you're not being your best self and you're not disciplined, when that right person comes along, you're not going to be ready. You're not ready. They might be ready. You might not be. You might be ready. They might not be. It, it, it is... <laughs> This is how things are today. It's a mess. It's a mess. But this is where we currently find ourselves in uh, modern society. And this is why so many people is going solo. This is why so many guys become cold-hearted and don't want to give themselves to a woman. This is why so many women become cold-hearted and don't want to give themselves to a guy and say every man is trash and men only want one thing, blah, blah, blah. And men, women only want attention, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Neither one of these is true. If you actually mess with the person that you're messing with, if you actually F with them, if you got a girl you really like, bro, you don't mind what... You actually like talking to her. There's girls you come across sometimes, bro, and you genuinely like to talk to her. And then there's some girls you don't give a damn. You don't care. You, you just don't. It's because you're not compatible. So no, not all men is one. All men want is one thing. All women want is one thing. They're both not the truth. Because guess what? If she really messes with you... Yes, she's going to like your attention, but she's, she's going to like other things from you as well. She's going to like that schlong, boy. And you're going to like giving her attention. You're going to like her attention, and you're going to like giving it to her as well. Like, bro, that, that's what it is. It's what it is. People only like one thing if they don't really like the person that much. Men only like one thing if they don't really like that girl that much. Yeah. He gets a bit excited. He's going to do what he's going to do. Of course. You better make sure he really likes you. That's up to yourself. It's your fault if you give it away too quick. It's also your fault as a man if you give up way too much time, attention, and energy into this woman. It's also your fault. You should have known whenever weeks and months was going by and you still never hung out. It still never happened. It still never happened. That's on yourself. This is, bro, I've never heard someone explain it this way, but I'm on to something. This is what it is, bro. This is a world broken down. It don't get better than this. It don't get more real than this. This is what it all comes down to. People get mad, bro, when they get used. And yeah, you're, you're, it's not going to feel nice. You're going to get upset. But you should never go against an entire gender. Women shouldn't be all men are trash. It's the stupidest thing. Did you, like, did you ever think something might be wrong with yourself? Like, did you ever think of that? Because if you were seriously that valuable as a woman, those things would not be happening to you if you were that attractive. It wouldn't. Guys might just see you have one thing to offer. And sometimes girls might see, as a man, you might only have one thing to offer. Sometimes your guidance. Sometimes your attention. But she's not going to give up nothing to you. She don't like you like that. That's how it is. It's up for yourself to find out quick. Not to hate an entire gender. 
We're supposed to be together, bro. We're supposed to be together. We're supposed to be thriving together. And if people just took a step back, you would realize who you're attracted to more than others. Oh my God. But almost nobody does it because nobody has patience. They want what they want right now. They break up with some girl and it's like, these guys are going out trying to get other girls instantly. It's like, you're not doing yourself any good. You're the same person, you're gonna make the same mistakes and it's gonna be the same formula because you don't want to do the work. Both, vice versa. Women resort to all men are trash instead of you looking in the mirror, doing the work, understanding you can be better. And you have to be patient. On top of getting better, you have to be patient. That's how you get the best, by becoming the best you can be. Does that make sense? I know it makes sense. Of course it makes sense. But almost nobody wants to do it. And whose fault is that? It's your fault. It is your fault. Women that get upset at men because they treated them kind of good and then they gave up the box, but now they don't really want nothing to do with them. They're serious. Now, women get upset with men like that. But I guarantee you, these men saw something in you that's, no, 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 She ain't to be taken seriously. That's up for you as a woman to understand what's wrong about yourself. And if you think nothing's wrong with you and all this stuff, that's your problem. Vice versa. Both ways. That is your issue. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. That is your issue. You got something going for you. You don't got it all going for you. There's stuff you got to fix. There's stuff that that man would never deal with that's inside of yourself. And don't ask me what it is because every woman's different and every woman has different things they probably have to fix in order to be even close to tolerable in a relationship. Vice versa. But that's what it's about. So many people are so stubborn. I'm never changing. Blah, blah, blah. That's narcissistic in itself. Blah, blah, blah. I'm never changing. I'm just, no, this is who I am. Blah, 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 blah. That is why. That's why. You're not self-accountable. You can't look at yourself from anyone else's lens besides yourself. You just think you're perfect and everything else instead of seeing yourself through someone else's lens. You don't even know what you look like. You're just doing weird things all the time. You don't get to see what someone else sees of you. Well, I don't care what they see of me, blah, blah, blah. I am who I am and I'm going to do what I do. That's your problem. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun, get what you want because you ain't going to get what you want. You're going to get used and abused and you're going to get mad. And the only person you should be mad at is yourself is your damn self, but you'll do anything but that. It don't get realer than this, folks. It don't get realer than this. I'm spitting tonight. This is how it is. Don't get upset with me. I'm here to help. I'm here to get in your big, thick skull that almost nothing can get in to help you. That's what I'm doing. Everyone on earth has to realize this. And there's people on earth that realize this. There's people on earth that actually realize this. Oh my God, it's a miracle. But there's even more that don't. And that's a problem with the world. That's a problem with society. It shouldn't be that way. Everyone has work to do, but they don't want to do it because they're lazy and they're undisciplined. And they want to act just stupid. There's certain things you gotta fix. Big time. Some of y'all gotta fix stuff big time. Big time, big time. <laughs> Some of these prettier girls out here, bro, they need extensive therapy. Like, big time. Big time, big time. Probably a lifelong weeks, every week of therapy. Just to stay even sane. That's what it's going to take for some people. The world's nuts, bro. People's nuts. 
And you know, the only thing you can do on your end, every single individual on their end, the only thing you can do is continue to be your best self, have faith in God, and keep doing what is right every day of your life. And what's meant for you will come. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. We will see y'all at the top, I hope.